Hey Team FG community, John Yepinetti here with Carlo Cancino. Today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be discussing the differences between withholding tax and income tax. So if you do enjoy our content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love doing these videos for you. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be looking at the difference between withholding tax and income taxes. And it often gets uh, misconstrued by some clients and wondering why some taxes have to be withheld on some payments. So uh, we figured we'd make a video about it and I'll hand it over to Carlo and he can get into the details. Carlo? Thanks a lot, John. It's that time of the year again. Everybody's favorite time, taxes. And so why don't we do a video about it? Now, before you hop off the video, there is some important information that will likely help you. So stick around. I promise I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. So. Income tax, what is it? Everybody knows the federal and the provincial governments, they levy tax on worldwide income that individuals earn who are resident in Canada. So before we talk about the difference between taxes payable and with what withholding tax is, let's just briefly talk about how tax is calculated. So essentially, when you're filing your taxes, you gather all the sources of income that you have. So whether it's employment income, you've got pension income, CPP, OAS, some investment income, maybe some RSP withdrawals or, or RIF payments. So you put all that income together on your tax return and then that's your total income. Now we got to get to your taxable income. So what happens is you minus deductions. So whether that, what, what are some deductions? RSP with, uh, contributions, carrying charges, uh, investment expenses, you've got net capital losses, non-capital losses, business losses, all those things will reduce your total income and bring you to your taxable income. Now, the taxable income is important because that's what the income tax that you pay is calculated on. So essentially, the, the rates that you pay on, on your taxable income, they're graduated. So what that means is the more taxable income you have, the higher the rate that you pay. So, for instance, an individual who lives in Ontario who earns $100,000 in taxable income will pay approximately just under $23,000 in income tax. Now, that's the balance owing. So, if you're an Ontario resident and you do your taxes, um, typically you won't have a balance that large uh, owing of taxes, and that's because you typically pay taxes upfront ahead of time throughout the year, and that's in the form of withholding tax. So if you've got employment income, if you have CPP income, OAS income, maybe you've taken RSP withdrawal or RIF withdrawals, you'll notice that there is tax taken at source and where that tax go, it goes directly to the CRA to pay your tax bill up front. Now, if you have a balance owing, that's because the difference of the taxes payable calculated on your taxable income is more than what you've paid up front through withholding tax. Conversely, if you have a refund, essentially you have paid more tax up front than what the taxes payable are on your income tax. So, one of the most frequently questions we get asked from our clients when they do an RSP withdrawal or a RIF withdrawal is, I'm paying withholding tax, but does that mean that I'm paying tax twice on that income? Well, the answer is no. Essentially, you are just paying up front the taxes that are going to be payable on your total income when you file at the end of the year. Yeah, I think that those are excellent points to make, Carlo. It's like you said, it's often that confusion from clients and wondering why they're paying their taxes up front. Essentially, it's just paying your taxes when the withdrawals are happening. Let's say if you're withdrawing from a RIF or just paying your taxes when you're taking the money so you don't get left to a pretty large tax bill at the end of the year. Regardless, those taxes were meant to be paid. It's just when you decide to pay them. Um, but that's it for another episode of Ask TMFG. So if you did enjoy the content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you do have any other content ideas, feel free to let us know, include it in the comments section down below. We love doing these videos for you. But until next time, I'm John Iaconetti. I'm Carlo Cancino. And this has been Ask Team FG.